first trial, you know. First time, you know what I mean? I would give it about a year, you know. He's getting better, but, you know, 
they ain't gonna get no better. They very, very good, but they ain't gonna get no better. So they they can't do nothing but slide down a little bit. So. Oh, he's been looking real good, man. Um, I think he's been working hard. I think he's really looking forward to this fight. Um, he's dedicated. You know, he's talking, he talks about this uh, day and night. He's, uh, you know, I think he's in shape. He's ready to go. I think uh, he's really performing uh, come April 28th. So far as his training and the way he's been looking, um, when do you think he'll be ready for a, uh, a shot of the title? I would say, uh, to be honest with you, uh, you know, in my personal opinion, I would say another two to three fights. Uh, you know, this time next year, I would say he'll be ready, you know, for one of the Klitschko boys, one of, you know, one of the big fights, uh, top echelon uh, heavyweights. How, how was his stamina, stamina look? Oh, um, he can go, man. He can go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it amazes me sometimes, you know what I mean, as far as, uh, you know, his... Uh, endurance and you know how long he can just go and train you know as hard as he does for as long as he does without any type of breaks uh, you know because even when he's not fighting and he's out the ring he's still training you know what I mean so he's always in tip top shape. Did you, did you guys go to school together? Yeah yeah we uh, played high school football together and uh, we would you know continue to be friends throughout you know, his college career and you know everything else. Tell me a little bit about the football man how did, uh, how did, how did he go from the football to boxing? Uh, you know well you, you know he loved football man he always wanted to go to the NFL but um, you know knee problems you know. You have so many surgeries on your knee, and it feel, you know, they kind of, your value goes down, you know. So, um, you know, it was just one of those things that he gave up football, and he was an administrator at a school, and he just said, hey, man, I think I want to try out boxing, you know. You know Tom Zivikowski did it from Notre Dame, and he's like, you know, I think I can do this. And, you know, we used to always joke around, man, you can't do that, you can't do that. But it's one of those things, man. Seth is one of those guys, he's a beast. So it's like, if he puts his mind to it, he's going to succeed at it. The main event, <clears throat> Bernard Hopkins versus Chad Dawson. What are your thoughts on that fight? Who do you think will win? Um, I, don't think, uh, my, I think Chad's going to win that fight. You know, I think, um, I'm not going to say Bernard copped out on the last one, but uh, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think Chad is going to take that fight. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Chad fan. Uh, kind of disappointed me when he took his hand. But um, I think, uh, you know, this will be his comeback fight to kind of put a stamp on the end of Bernard's career and, uh, you know, move on. But at the same time, Bernard is one of those fighters, man, any given day. So uh, if, he, if he leaves that window over too long, uh, Bernard will definitely take it. Do you think Chad Dawson will ever get a chance to avenge that loss with Pascal? And if so, do you think he can? Do you think that first fight he had an off night, or do you think Pascal uh, legitimately I, I, beat him? I think he, you know, it was one of those things, man. It was, you know, it, was, it could go both ways, you know. Me being a Chad fan, I would like to see him at least get a chance to avenge that loss. But watching the fight, you know, six and one, half a dozen of the other, man. It could have went either way. Thanks, brother. All right.